bitch, I got my own. If I don't need security in the club, all they woofing on the nick, nigga. I thought you was a thug. I ain't got nowhere to go. I shot up everywhere they would. Yeah, you know who took that shit from you? Come get it back in blood. Bitch, come get it back in blood. We ain't fast, up no Dodger Rigs. Niggas know who it was. It's so shit just like the 80s. Want some back? Get it in blood. Yeah, you know who took that shit from you? Come get it back. Hey guys, welcome back. So since this is a fitness vlog, I wanted to take the time to introduce you guys to Premium Jane. I've actually featured them on my channel before, but if you're new here, you might have missed it. Or maybe you just forgot, so let me refresh your memory. We are getting into the gym this year, of course. We're going hard, we're lifting weights. We are focusing on progressive overload, but we are also focusing on self-care. When you work out, it is important that you take the steps to repair your body and care for yourself. That means taking Epsom salt baths. That means stretching before and after your workouts. Talking to myself. That means keeping your diet together. If you're a heavy lifter like me, you should probably also be getting some massages in. Just anything that's gonna help your body repair itself for all of the hard work and labor that you're doing because the growth comes when the muscles are repaired, not when they're being destroyed in the gym. So Premium Jane actually offers top-notch CBD products. Their products are actually lab verified for purity. There are tons of benefits to CBD, but the biggest one that I'm speaking about today is gonna be pain relief. So I have the CBD gummies from Premium Jane and they're my favorite way to take CBD. But then I also have this chocolate mint oil flavor and it's not a topical. You're actually gonna ingest this and it's the flavor of chocolate mint. You really can't go wrong. There are so many products that Premium Jane offers. Like, it's seriously ridiculous. I want to try their freaking Delta 8 gummies because you guys know how I feel about Delta 8. Like, I've talked about it before on my channel. And it's so funny because actually you guys are the one that put me onto Delta 8. And so I've had hits and misses, but I am 100% sure that if I order this, that these Delta 8 gummies from Premium Jane, they will not miss. Like, none of their products have missed before. They have all been verified with reviews and personal use that they are going to do exactly what they said they are and that they're pure and that they're from a reputable source and that's very important when trying out products such as these. I really want to try these CBD bath bombs because you guys know I'm actually about to move and I haven't had a tub for a freaking year and now that I'm about to have a tub, I am going to be having a lot of bath bombs to just ease, soothe, and relax my muscles so these CBD bath bombs are going to be great for what I just said, the rest and relaxation that we need to do when we're ripping our muscles and tearing them apart at the gym. And Mama Lorraine actually raves about these CBD creams. She loves this CBD cream. I got one from Premium Jane before and I let her try it and she absolutely loved it so much that I had to give it to her guys. And she orders for them like monthly. And she says, hey, they need to sponsor you again. So she'll definitely be using the code as I hope you guys will too, since I'm an affiliate now. Um, yeah, go ahead and use that code, Mama Lorraine. She loves this topical and she's let her friends use it too and they love it as well. CBD is effective in relieving nerve pain and also back pain. It's also great for anxiety. I actually first got introduced to CBD because I had issues with anxiety and CBD is just a natural way to relieve that. You can take these products during the day, but I do like to take them at night. I have not found that they made me drowsy or anything, but I feel like they kind of get you calm after I've had such a busy and overwhelming day. I know I'm very overwhelmed. The calmness does help me ease into a relaxing sleep, but it's not necessarily a drowsy type of feeling. Let me know in the comment box if you guys have had any experience with CBD and how you liked it. I will have a link to Premium Jane in the description box for you to go and check them and try them out. I also have an affiliate link and code with them so click that link below and help your girl out thank you to premium jane for sponsoring this video as well and if you guys have any other questions related to cbd you can check out premium jane's website they have lots of information on there so let's get into the fitness vlog good morning guys good morning today is a gym vlog duh we already knew that what's up we're going to the gym um it's chest day y'all know chest has Become a fave, over leg. No, no, no. It's top two. It ain't one. It is two. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go do that. It's actually my first chest day workout for the new year. So, with that being said, y'all, 
I woke up looking good. I took some pictures. I had a little comparison photo moment. Let me show y'all. I literally mentioned this again and again. The best thing you can do is take pictures because I know that I look great, but y'all have to understand the way my confidence is set up. I've always felt like I've looked great no matter what I look like. So I've always felt like I've looked like this. And the only time that I realized I didn't look like this is when I look at pictures. So basically I have body dysmorphia and I don't think my body's ever changed and I'm always that girl. But, I, but really though, I'm about to show y'all what that girl look like. <laughs> Now, I don't want YouTube to get mad at me, but y'all, oh my God, is this really my freaking stomach? So, look at the legs. Look at, look at the legs. What? Hey, <laughs> Y'all, it is super lit. I woke up so unmotivated. Why is my phone going off? Ugh. I don't know who called me. I woke up so unmotivated and I was like, I don't wanna do this today, screw this. And then I started getting dressed for the gym because whether I wanted to do it or not, we was doing it. And then I was looking at myself like, oh no, we about to do this. We definitely about to do this. The past two nights, I've been real snacky after dinner. So like, I did know what I eat in a day yesterday and basically I lied because I definitely had like a whole bag of smart food popcorn. And before y'all be like, you mean the white cheddar popcorn? That ain't that bad. No, the caramel and cheese. Y'all, it's the recreational activities that be getting me. And see, I had to leave it alone for a while. Look, I'm going to have to leave it alone again because when it get me, I want to eat. And there's nothing you can do tell me what's up. So, yeah, maybe I need to <laughs> put that down. Anyway, let me finish getting ready for the gym so we can head up on out of here. Get it in. Okay, y'all, so I'm making my pre-workout not making nothing because y'all know i've been really really feeling the pre-made workouts this is by ghost they got the sour patch this is the red berry they got the blue one it's lit i love pre-made energy drinks because why oh because she's lazy because <laughs> i don't want to have to mix it and make it that's really the only reason why i i'm not saying i stopped using the powder because it's not true y'all actually see me use it but i don't prefer to only because I'm like it, I like it ready to go. Y'all know me. I'm sorry if I don't wanna, I don't know what it is. If it ain't the gym, I really don't wanna make time to do it. That's just what it is. Even prepping to go to the gym. I don't wanna make that. Oh, and also, not only do I not wanna make the pre-made, but y'all know you have the BCAA, which I drink during the workout, and you have the pre-workout that I drink before. So then I gotta carry two extra bottles, and this, when this is all I need in one. I know this is literally like the pre-energy but it's a big one. Like the pre-energy that you make, you don't want to put that in a lot of water and be sipping on it. It, it Usually pre-workout has like a, it's not nasty. I mean, the ones I drink aren't nasty, but they do have a taste that I wouldn't want to sip on. Like I just want to just go ahead and drink it. It's not nasty. It's just something about whatever it's made out of. Plus it make your lips itch a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, you just want to drink it out the way that you had a BCAA where with the pre-made, I just sip on it during the workout and I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I like this way. The other way is okay, but this way, I like it. Now I'm gonna try to set y'all up on a bar cart so y'all can see my um outfit. So well, I have not announced this on YouTube. This is Bash Fit. So this is available in this color and in hunter green. This is Ruth, even if you guys bought Ruth. Um, it is a thicker like warmer material it's actually kind of too warm for me to be going to the gym i rather like have it leisurely but it's long sleeve instead of like the tank that it was when roof first came out so basically this is still roof but roof with sleeves and of course um let me touch y'all down some more you have the leggings with the drawstring because we love a drawstring legging i don't know uh, i'm doing i told y'all i was doing some stuff with bash fit kind of like rebranding and doing some things I like the drawstring, but then I don't because the band be getting kind of, like it fits on okay, but it be folding up and like, can y'all see? It's, it's very minuscule, but anyway, just because like I'm selling it, I'm like looking at the details. But anyway, you have a drawstring, you have pockets, she's super stretchy. Everything that Bash Fit does is focused on the fit, so the stretch is there. Give y'all a twirl. 
okay i absolutely love this but again i prefer it as just an outfit because i like to work out in like a sports bra like no sleeves girl it's hot and this material on this legging is pretty thick but that's good because it's going to compress you and hold you in but i don't know it's just it's kind of warm so again i have this in this color and then i'll put a picture of the other color when i tell y'all to go get it because i need to check the inventory on them they just came out monday i don't know when y'all gonna see this video because there's sponsored content in it child i'm probably just gonna have to post on youtube because i don't want y'all to miss out but yeah go run if you ain't got it go get you go get you right now link in the description get up stretch my legs Wash my teeth up, wash my face. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Stop my day. Wake up, get up, get up. All right, guys, so I'm hitting the bench press to start my chest day, and I'm just warming up. So here we got the bar, but don't play it though, because the bar is 45 pounds. Um, I need to focus on keeping my wrist straight and not bent. That's something I'm just trying to get used to because it's more comfortable to comfortable for me to do it this way, but it's actually not the correct way. Um, it feels better to me, but you also don't be wanting to put that heavy ass like weight on your wrist, but that's what I'm doing here. So, um, I'll try to get better <laughs> and point out exactly what I'm talking about. Cause y'all like, what? Okay. So first working set, I have 10 plates on each side or two tens on each side. So we are at 65 pounds. Y'all know I'm bad at math. Let's see what these wrist work is looking like. Cause I didn't know I got conscious of it. Is my wrist straight? I think my wrists are more straight on this one. Um, I can't really tell at this angle. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all do bench presses, any guys, especially cause I know y'all are working out the upper body or women too, whoever. I think my wrists are okay on this one. It looks a little bit better. But I still know that they're supposed to be straight up, and I do struggle with that. Okay, so y'all know that math is really not my strong suit, so it's about to get real funny. <laughs> I got 15 pounds on each side, so uh, 30 plus 45, whatever. I'm not even about to do that with you. <laughs> I think it's like 75 or something. I know that I got to 90. I don't think I got a 95. I think I got to 90. And I have bench pressed about 100, but I'm... I was ego lifting and it was hurting and I think I had sprained something in doing that. So I don't want to do that for the camera. But yeah, second set, y'all see them wrists bent? So yeah, the wrists weren't bent the last one, but they were bent. So I'm going to check it. This is the third set. The weight went up five pounds. I see the 2.5 on that side, so I know it's on the other side. Okay, I feel like the wrists are straight. They weren't straight on the last set, but they're straight on this set. That is a struggle like my upper body strength is it's coming along but i still can barely do like a push-up um and that's something i'm working to oh also like a pull-up without it being assisted but yeah so i actually did four sets of this because i was really feeling it so this is the fourth set and i can count these because i see the two 20s i mean the 10s so i got 45 55 65 75 85 and then i got a 2.5 on each side so yeah this is 90 pounds and I feel like my wrists are straight. I was really struggling to keep them straight. I can't believe that this is my life. Like when I comfortably can do 100 pounds and above, what y'all gonna tell me? What are you gonna tell me? That's what I thought, like literally nothing. So that was the bulk of the workout. It was focused on bench press when I do chest days. So this is basically like a decline chest press. It's a decline because the seat is kind of sitting back. But I also like to focus on individual because I have a dominant side, which you guys will see. Um, I think it's my right side, but I can't tell from, let me see. That is, yeah, that's my right side right there. And I think when I get to the left side, y'all will see it's going to, I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell that one side is stronger than the other. It's like that for legs too. I'm pretty sure my right leg is stronger than my left leg. But um, that is why you want to work them out individually so that you can have, like basically it be equal. Cause it's, you're going to have a dominant side. So I'm trying to watch my face and see if I struggled with this. Cause I didn't struggle with the last one. It... Yeah, I don't know. It didn't really scrunch up. But anyway, so this is called actually, oh, it's a cable press. So it's the same thing as a chest press, but you're basically standing and it's the cable machine. I absolutely love this. This is a newfound fave. 
and I look like Superman. And plus, you can really like see all the muscles in my legs and glutes. It looks amazing. Girl, we do not skip legs day, and we we not skipping upper body either. But I'm just saying the progressive overload is better on the legs. I do real light weight on my arms. Y'all see, I was struggling, and that's like 17 pounds on each side. But anyway, so again with the unilateral movements, um, these are shoulder press, dumbbell press, and I'm trying to see the weight. It's a 20 pound. Now I could do it with both sides. But again, this is the clip where I noticed that I struggled, I think. I'm talking to y'all before I see it or watch it. So, this is already hard enough, but this is my right side. And I see I always just naturally begin with my right side. And so, like, moving over to the left, I know I'm about to struggle. You can tell when I'm struggling by my face, but also, like, I feel like my arm got a little wanky. Because I remember when I was recording, it's like, oh, girl, you is effing up. My hair looks so full, if I can just say. I know this has nothing to do with anything, but look at the fullness of the ponytail. Y'all see the face? Look at the face. I am struggling. I am struggling. Can y'all tell? Look, look at the lips. Like, look at the face. I'm struggling. And then, yeah, look, I'm giving out. I'm giving out. I'm giving out. The arm, look at, I'm giving out. Form is giving out. Giving out. Yes, I wanted to look at y'all so y'all can see. So, yeah, I definitely have a dominant side. Most of us do. So, this is just a frontal raise. Now, I could have done this single or two, but I didn't. And as you can see, the weights went down to 10s. Um, very different movement. I, I don't even think, I think I could probably give you maybe good three, a three of them with the 20 pounds. But this is a whole nother movement, so the weight can't be the same. Like, I can barely move between these because, trust me, I did try to see and even then y'all seen i started to struggle but then i started feeling myself at the end look at me look at me probably got some kevin gates on no telling what the hell then i had to stand back and look at myself because i'm like yeah i'm really like out here getting strong y'all know anyway so i did cardio in the beginning but i really want to start trying to improve my cardiovascular ability and also like jumping rope so i don't have a sports bra on so i'm sorry for all of that movement but this is me trying to jump rope and i absolutely suck i think this was a good clip because i had filmed with my phone before this to post to my workout uh chat like we're in a challenge right now because they actually motivated me to start trying to get in the jump rope because one girl was killing me but yeah this is a good clip and i actually i didn't mess up like i actually did good but baby i cannot jump rope long to save my life but i did that so yeah this does complete the chest day so yeah let's go home Y'all, that workout was legit. It was good, it was a great time. I appreciate it, I had a great time. Y'all seen how sucky my, my rope jumping skills are, but I had a good time. The gym getting a little, mm, mm, it was kinda, mm. I got my filming in though, but I did have to wait um, for some machines or stuff to become available, like the chest fly. And did I have to wait for a bench? I think I did. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So let me show y'all what I got at the gym because so i got this lean body cookies and cream milkshake i've never tried this brand before it's high in calories baby because i'm used to like 150 and this is 280 calories lean body my behind how you 300 calories it better be good but the sugars is low now look at the sugars was up there and, mm. but anyway um it is 40 grams of protein so usually y'all know my protein shakes are 30 grams but for that 10 extra they did not have to put that many damn calories up on here but anyway what i really got this for was for my oatmeal i wanted to because i love eating oatmeal as of now i'm having an oatmeal thing y'all have seen it we eating oatmeal today okay just so y'all know but i was like let me try to instead of using my cashew milk use some of this mm, that didn't work out how i thought it was so initially i was gonna run to gnc just to get an alani new because i wanted it cold i have fair life but they're not cold and i was going to use the cup or if i just have one thing of oatmeal since we already high in calories because two pack is 300 calories one pack is 150 and if i just used half a cup of that to make it that would give me protein and then drink the rest but at the same time, it's like you could have just drunk it with the oatmeal. And I don't know what I was trying to do. I'm trying to add protein with my oatmeal, even though I have the eggs. But what it's coming down to is even if you use some of this to make the oatmeal, which isn't a bad idea, baby, you're going to have to drink the rest. Because, I mean, I guess I could try to measure this out and just use the cup and have two things. I'll see. Because first of all, let me taste this and see if this is even good. It's a protein shake. 
this is 280 calories so i'm gonna have to work this out i can drink it though but i want to put it in my oatmeal and i'll drink some but see especially with that being um especially with that being so high in calories i wouldn't want to consume all of that today it's almost 300 calories but it is 40 grams of protein though i'm just gonna see what we gonna do uh because y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all besides me being snacky these past two nights my calories have been legit so i have but the protein has not been legit that's what i that's the um the caveat there my calories i've been in a deficit because y'all know i'm still trying to shred some damn weight off me that's forever the story of my life because i can't be consistent with it um and then but you know to help with weight loss and to keep the muscle that i work so hard for my protein should be where it need to be but it's not i be struggling like i girl one day i didn't even get over 100 calories and that is just pathetic but also my calories was like 1300 that's not good that wasn't on purpose y'all anyway i know what to do but i won't can do it like everything else if you would just plan the meals out why why won't you do the work that you need to do to get where you need to be i don't know why i ordered some meal prep too it should be here friday y'all next week is the last week in the apartment so that what i eat in the day that i did i don't know when y'all gonna see it because it got sponsored stuff in it this is the only thing i had about sponsored content baby they be taking a sweet precious time but i don't have a schedule but anyway um that's the last one i eat in the day y'all because i don't see me doing it doing one next week and we out chill we out chill okay anyway y'all let me oh speaking of let me tell y'all how ghetto the apartment situation done got I don't know what the hell's going on at the apartment that I live in now, but they've been acting up. When I tell y'all they've been acting up, it is trash all outside the trash chute. There is a Walmart grocery cart. I'm gonna show y'all when we get back, just out in like the breezeway area. How it got there, I don't even know. This is a Walmart across the street. But who bought the cart over here? And then I'm all the way on the seventh floor. Who did that? Anyway, y'all, on top of that packaging or packages at the apartment, something about that process has been messed up the they we have a mail room where packages are dropped off at they stopped doing that because i live in a luxury apartment building with that being said people buying gucci and louis vuitton and all kind of stuff and it sits in the mail room guess what people's stuff been getting stolen i don't know if it's people living there which is crazy because our rent is high or what i don't know but people's stuff was getting stolen so of course the apartment complex got tired of people complaining about their stuff getting stolen which i totally get even though if my stuff got stolen yes i'm pissed off oh yes but i'm not finna go and complain to the apartment people because what do you want them to do it's not their fault they is not like liable for packages like i even though you irritated i get it i get it but what you want them to do so anyway, they got tired of people complaining. So there's all right, well, we're gonna start holding packages like in this room in the lobby, but the room is locked. So great, guess what? People can't steal your packages. But guess what else? If the leasing people ain't there, you can't get your shit. It's not available now. So if you at work all day or wherever you was, if you ain't there doing office hours, you can't get your stuff. Now, on top of that, I don't know what happened when well, I was in Vegas. They was talking about that the, the leasing people was gone. Talking about everybody got COVID. Or they was like, because of the spread of COVID or it's high, we they're going to be working remotely. Yeah, that's great. But what I just tell y'all about the packages. So I had this was coming and they wasn't there. And I'm like, yo, I got merchandise and I need it. And I don't, I mean, I get y'all trying not to spread COVID. Yeah, okay. But how are people supposed to get their mail? So because of all that, and I don't even know what's going on with it. I bought some more babes leggings because if y'all remember, I don't know if it was here or not. The ones I bought before did not fit. So I bought some more and I had them sent to my P.O. box. So that's where we had now to pick them up. Also, I bought some stuff from Amazon for like bash feed, my shipping bags and shipping labels. They're at Whole Foods in their lockers because I don't know what the hell going on with our packages and I don't got time for me not be getting my stuff because I get mad. So I'm here to pick up these leggings. Then I got to go to Whole Foods and get my Amazon packages. Just extra. I'm ready to go. It is time to go out here. I need to call the apartment too because, I mean, we haven't solidified nothing. This is less than two weeks away. Monday, it'll be a week away. What's good? Package secured. Y'all, I'm so excited about these leggings. We got to try them when we get home because I love these freaking leggings. I ordered some. When did I order some? 
I don't know, a while ago, like when I still lived with Bear, ooh, ooh, child. Um, and they were amazing. And I don't know why it took them so long to order some more, but I ordered some more for Black Friday because she had a sale. And I don't know what I was doing and why I felt like, I don't know, I ordered the wrong size and it was on me because I had ordered. Why you didn't order the same size you ordered before? And maybe I didn't remember, but I could look. Anyway, y'all, because I have a small business and I don't know if y'all know who, y'all gotta know who Sierra Rogers is. Come on, what? This a thick fit plus size channel. I know y'all know. But, um... I wasn't finna bother her with the return process because the return process was, you know, you gotta send it back, you gotta wait till they get it and all of that. And I was like, it's fine. I get it. I mean, you know what? Bash Fit doesn't do returns, but I think we need to. And if we do, it's gonna be just like that because y'all be not understanding that when you're not like Nike, Walmart, big companies like that, returning is some BS. And I get it, like, stuff happened. I ain't know the size, it ran small, yeah. So I'm gonna start offering that option, but it's gonna be just the way she do it, where you gotta wait till we get it, you gotta check everything, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, for me, it wasn't worth it. So I gave those leggings to my cousin and I ordered some more. And thank God she had another sale on Christmas and it was 40% off. And I got more than I even got the last time. I was like, girl, get these leggings because that's all I really will. And they are the best. So if y'all don't know, I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. So, on the way to Amazon for these packages. I may pack orders today, even though that wasn't on my agenda. But if I edit this video, which is the what I eat today, I need to edit that. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. We might as well go ahead and do it so there'll be less I have to do tomorrow. Cause y'all know I'm not stressing this year. We are not being overwhelmed this year, we chilling. So if I got time, I got time today, then we gonna go ahead and get it out the way. You heard me. Okay, but do y'all see these leggings? Y'all, like they, these aren't even the highest waisted ones. They have some that literally go up under your boob. But look at the, let's just look how high waist, the, let's, just look at the waist on these. So these are called the tummy control, as you can see why. But then the ones I have a pair, and I don't like them because it's just a little extreme for me, but I have a pair that literally go all the way up under here and they're supposed to like cover back fat, which they do because they go all the way up under here. And those are called the yoga ones, just in case y'all wanted to order and want to know the difference. The yoga goes up way farther, but this is good for me, the tummy control ones. Like, y'all, if y'all can't tell, these are the blue ones. Like, girl, look at the quads quadding. Look at the quads quadding. I'm so proud of my little gangs, y'all. Do y'all see that? The shape of that? Now I just need this to be like, girl, y'all see the potential? Girl, look at the quads. The quads even stick out more if I ain't had no stomach at all. Look at that, boom. Yeah, I did that, girl. I built that, girl. Girl, 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 mm. So let me show y'all the other ones. This is what it came in. So I got four pair. Um, so I got four pair. These are the blue ones. Do y'all see that? Like the, look, these leggings are thick. Ain't nothing cheap about them. I got this pack. It was 40% off, but of this was over $100 for four. Um, regular price, they are like 40 bucks per legging, but they are worth it. Remember I talked about quality, like forget all that fast fashion, and this is a black brand. Y'all, the quality of these leggings are just absolutely insane. Like the thickness of them. They are so thick and soft. They are just not cheap. They're not cheap leggings. They don't feel cheap. They're worth the money, y'all. Cause they're a staple. Olive, light gray, black. This is my second pair of black. So the other black ones I got are the yoga ones. And then I got this darker gray. Like y'all worth it i'm pretty sure i'm gonna order like doubles <laughs> especially black because like this all i want to wear is leggings anyway and when i tell y'all these are some good quality leggings so good i had to order them a second time after the first ones didn't fit because that was my bad but yeah y'all don't sleep on the black brands please don't now i'm tripping because it's two o'clock and we definitely ain't eight and we said we're supposed to be eating by 12 30. Today was a late start day, okay? Okay, but come on, it ain't gonna take but two seconds to eat anyway, so what's up? Y'all probably like, I'm so sick of her making oatmeal. <laughs> well, what you
she want me to do? Not make oatmeal, sis. Not make oatmeal. So I got a new pack, y'all. This is the Quaker. It's instant oatmeal fiber and protein. I really got it because it has the banana in there. And I'm kind of sad because it's only two banana, two cinnamon, and then two maple and brown sugar. But I really want it for the banana. But they didn't have banana separate. And no, not the banana nut. Because I don't like nuts. And it was nuts in that one last time. I remember. Just the banana. Like, it's just a banana. And not the bananas and cream either. Which, that's fine. I don't think that's bananas and cream in the in the variety pack with the cream. I think it's just bananas. Anyway, this is a little bit better protein than the last one. Um, And it's like 10 calories less. But, you know, that's not what we here for. Um... I'm going to add this. I y'all know same thing. PB powder. Once it's cooked and but the only thing different is I'm going to use this lean body shake um in here. So I don't know how I'm going to do this because I need to just use a half a cup, but I also need to calculate and try to weigh it. So see, it's only coming up as a serving. I don't want to use a whole serving. I don't even want to drink a whole serving. Ugh. Hold on, let's see if I can find it put in some kind of way. Lean body, cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this works. So yeah, if I found one that's measured it in fluid ounce, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna turn the scale on, but I also need to make sure it's half a cup. Okay, what I'm gonna do, is fill up I'm gonna fill up my half a cup measuring because I need it to be full anyway and so whatever it says as far as um, fluid ounces is how I'll log it in boom and I also am um, curious to see how this is going to like how much protein I'm gonna get in a half a cup so that's 3.5 fluid ounces which is only 58 calories, but it's 8 grams of protein. So, that's pretty lit. That's pretty lit. I like that. We got Hella. We can do this probably for like three or four bowls. So, we already at 14 grams. And I didn't even add my eggs, which are cooked. So, oh, I'm so excited for these, y'all. I love these. Let me scan these. Boom. Okay, y'all. So we are at. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you know when I eat any meal, I want it to be at least 30 grams up towards 45. So 28 grams of protein. I fixed the oatmeal and gave it protein. Why am I like this? And y'all, we're going to get to 30 because I'm going to add some peanut butter power. So I'm so excited. That's exactly what I wanted. How many calories is this? 400 calories, boom, not mad. So I hope this, it should taste okay. Let me warm it up. Yes, and I could use this for my oatmeal or any other protein shake. I just got this because it was already cold, even though I could have been came in the house and pot tossed that fair life one in the freezer. I didn't know it was gonna work out. I'm just wait till the oatmeal come out. We're gonna add the PB powder. We're gonna protein whistle. Okay, y'all, I gotta have a real moment with y'all. So, I added the PB powder, and that got our oatmeal up to 33 grams of protein. Well, not the oatmeal, but the meal um, in general with my eggs, right? I'm not gonna lie. The oatmeal is edible. Yes, I'm gonna eat it. Yes. It does take away the taste of the oatmeal so basically the oatmeal has a proteiny taste and it doesn't taste as good as it's been tasting so am i gonna keep up with this i don't know i'd rather eat my oatmeal than have like a protein coffee i tried i tried but it's i'm not enjoying the oatmeal like it's okay but that protein taste is is present but that's all right i'm gonna have to just take that l today because this is the star of the show. Amazing. 
Okay, y'all, so I'm about to have lunch. I want y'all to see these chicken thighs I made last night for dinner. I'm gonna make some more. But I'm about to basically cut these up and y'all know how I am. I don't know why I keep trying to make wraps. <laughs> But I'm gonna cut these up and like add them to a tortilla and make a wrap. And I already know this is too much chicken, but the protein, we gotta eat it. Y'all be talking about me, but look at this. Perfecto, 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 perfecto. So, let me give it a taste. It's too hot. Mmm. I can't taste none of the... This is super good, it's just hot. I don't know how I feel about having the hot lettuce. I didn't think that through. I don't feel like lettuce is really made for hot sandwiches. But, boom. Y'all, this wrap was 40 grams of protein because it's two chicken thighs and the chicken thigh was 20 grams. Big snow, whistle. So I'm gonna cut us off for today. Y'all didn't miss nothing. I'm pretty much gonna have the same thing for dinner. Chicken thighs and probably some spinach. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much. You know, we starting the year off on track. We doing what we're supposed to do. Look, my freaking um, night before Christmas pants falling. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out other videos from me here on the screen and I'll see you guys in my next one.